Hello, this is Veris Al Hajri, PhD AM. How to revitalize the therapy and the high blood pressure? What is the correlation between how to revitalize therapy and high blood pressure to control high blood pressure? The function of the heart is to pump the blood uh, through the circulatory system and at a specific uh, rate, which is between 60 to 100. So what happened is that it, since the blood of a human being consists of a lipid, which is a fat, the function of enzyme to break down the food, so it uh, break down the fat into fatty acid and again break the fatty acid to produce energy for the cells. So when there is a malfunction, something is missing within the blood system that can lead to uh, high blood pressure. So take an example, when you have a, a pump that pump water through a pipe and that pipe has a specific uh, a diameter and the motor with a specific speed and when you try to squeeze the pipe then there will be more pressure to the pump and you can destroy the pump. Since the heart of human being, the function of the heart is to pump the blood in the circulatory system so that it transports a nutrient, it transports a, a carbon dioxide, it transports a water, it transports all these vitamin and oxygen to the cells. When there is a deposit of a lipid within the blood veins, the arteries, that can cause the blood pressure to increase and that can lead to high blood pressure. Since we have this uh, good cholesterol that is being transported to uh, the cells, but you have the blood cholesterol, the LDL, the lipid that is remaining within the, the plaque of the arteries, that can cause high blood pressure. What is the reason? Why does it happen like that? It happened for the reason that uh, the enzyme they rely on natural elements, specifically water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy, for it to function properly, to break down, to do its job of breaking down this uh, uh, food, break down the proteins, break down the fat, and break down the carbohydrates to produce at uh, the end energy. So it break down the fat into fatty acid and break down the fatty acid to produce energy for the cells. When there is a depletion of these elements or any of these elements or one of these elements, that can uh, affect the functionality of the enzyme to break down the lipid, the cholesterol, uh, the fat within the plaque and that can cause the increase of the thickness of the lipid within time that can affect the flow of the blood and will cause the high blood pressure. So high blood pressure can be controlled by maintaining the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping, drinking hot water at a specific temperature as we defined for adults and for children with a specific amount, a specific methodology and timing. That is a very crucial, very important. As we keep on maintaining these therapeutic methods of aqua gulping, drinking methods of hot water, that is exclusively it allows shifting of the energy from the hot water to the body by hydration. Hydration is to make the body absorb the water, hydrating, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. That's exclusively in addition, of course, to hydration, which is transporting of the water to the, to the, to the body. So since the temperature of the water that we recommend is 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and much higher than the body temperature uh, at normal range, so that exclusively transport the energy. It's been uh, mentioned several times, many research about uh, thermogenesis, that the sunshine can cause thermogenesis, exercising, that will allow expansion of the blood veins called vasodilation, and that will help to uh, circulate the blood. But with exercise, the benefit here is that it allows vasodilation, but then you have dehydration, you lose water. With aqua revitalized therapy, of course, you enjoy your exercise, you enjoy the proper nutrition, uh, that the dieting system, all these things. But the main is, the core of this is maintaining 
the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping. With this, you can maintain the availability of these uh, elements to speed up the functional ability of the enzymes, in addition to maintain the presence of these elements within the blood system, circulatory system particularly water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. The blood plasma is composed of 92% water. And the human being, uh, blood is actually hot. It's not cold, it's not warm, specifically at 40 degrees uh, Celsius or plus or minus, but it's within that range. So if the human body's blood is hot, to maintain that temperature of the blood, though that uh, uh, the human body itself it regulate the temperature, the inner core of the temperature of the body, but that's the reason when we're exposed to extreme cold environment or we take extreme cold drinks, then our body goes through vasoconstriction, constriction of the blood veins, trying to prevent loss of energy or loss of heat from the blood. In uh, contrary to that, when we are exposed to extreme hot condition or any hot environment, then our body goes through vasodilation, dilatation of the blood veins. That's to allow excessive heat to be released through sweating and perspiration like that. When we maintain aqua revitalized therapy, it's just not only maintaining the energy of the blood, which is the heat, transporting the heat or energy to the, to the blood, but in addition to transporting water, oxygen and hydrogen to the blood. With this, then we can control the elevated high blood pressure within time of abiding the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping. We wish you a wonderful health and thank you so much. Bye.